Hello, my name is Michael Pierce, also known as the Celestial Ronin, and I wanted to talk to you about the origins of Jar Jar Binks. We're talking about not in, not in the movie, but his origin as a character that was being created for the film. And what's interesting about this is that I think it actually plays a large part in how we're seeing a lot of his Darth uh, uh, Darth Darth Binks or Darth uh, Jar Jar coming about now. Um, I will purport that Jar Jar was not supposed to be this cute, cuddly, Ewok-type character inspired to be the friend of children, but rather from the beginning was intended to be an evil character. And I'm going to be showing you some supporting evidence. First off, um, I want to talk about this clip from George Lucas. Not very many people realize that uh, Goofy was the inspiration for Jar Jar Binks. So with that, now let me tell you a little bit about a, a character from the Disney universe called the Phantom Blot. Um, um, this was brought to my attention from um, uh, Reddit user Hares, um, and his argument um, of connecting Goofy to the Phantom Blot and uh, thus back to Jar Jar Binks, he comes up with some very interesting documentation, such as some of these comics that show first... Mickey Mouse hypnotizing Goofy to become the Phantom Blot. Then later, the Phantom Blot is shown as the shadow of Super Goof. And then underneath the Phantom Blot mask, later on in that character's progression, he's shown to be an evil version of a, of a Goofy-type character. You know, back in the day, they uh, Goofies were like a dime a dozen, like hundreds of them. Um, but then later funneled down to one character that we know today. Um, so these older comics, these are going to be the comics that George Lucas grew up with. And I'm sure that some of this came about. So here's a brief description of even the Phantom Blot to begin with. It says, the Phantom Blot is a reoccurring villain uh, from Disney who is arguably, arguably one of Mickey Mouse's most, re uh, most reoccurring foes next to Peg Lake Pete himself. The Phantom Blot is one of the most dangerous villains in the Disney universe, at least in part uh, in which Mickey Mouse reside, the part where Mickey Mouse resides in. This was not always the case, however, the original, uh, uh, however, and originally the Phantom Blot was simply a hooded thief from uh, whom Mickey helped capture. It was not until later that the Phantom Blot would evolve into a criminal mastermind and a much bigger threat to the security of the world. Adding such sinister abilities as hypnotism, manipulation, and great knowledge of psychology, blackmailing, and a mystery of escape into his arsenal, making him more formidable. So especially with what we're seeing from uh, Darth Jar Jar, with his ability to seem to control conversations and what people are doing on screen, <laughs> it seems like this is um, Goofy could have been the inspiration and definitely all aspect all as, uh, aspects of the original version of the phantom blot where he is goofy underneath the mask um so if that wasn't stirring enough that's one thing but here's something a little bit more stirring is before even characters such as qui-gon jinn were even put into the script here's some character creation art from 1995 showing gungans and you may think okay these are just some random gungan fanfare but when we zoom up on this signature of uh, this sinister looking Gungan on the side, we find it's labeled Jar Jar Binks with an X, um, signed 1995. And uh, take a note of this artist here, that she is also the same artist that designed Sebulba. And she continues in this kind of realm where she makes monster designs, that's what she does. So if you're planning on making a cute, cuddly character from the beginning, this doesn't seem like the source material you'd want to use to do that. So, I think this concept art is kind of an, is almost like the nail in the coffin about the original intent of the character. Then, like with this character design, you have this this idea of Jar Jar Binks standing against the wall, looking sinister. He's got one dongle up and one dongle in his head. And how do you disguise that behind goofy behavior? Later on, I think what happened was just a mistake of how to present it on screen.
just too much goofy and not enough sinister to hint to the audience what was really lying underneath that took us 15 plus years for a community to actually take notice. But besides that, definitely, origin of, origin of Jar Jar Binks is that of a sinister character. But that's my opinion. What do you think? <laughs>